Hi everyone, today we are at this Jurong Lake fishing in the legal part of this area and we have Jabel, also known as Fishing Potato, who is a regular here to guide me and also to share with us what kind of uh, lures and techniques will work well for here. Jabel, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, can you share a little bit about, uh, with the audience, typically what kind of fishes do you expect to catch over here? So for Jurong Lake Reservoir, you can expect to catch uh, peacock bass or those small cichlids. Yeah. Alright, so how about the kind of lures that normally you will start to use to target this species? I will try to use rubbers and minnows. Rubbers about 3 inch and below and right. for minnows anywhere from 30mm all the way up to 70mm. Any recommendation about the tackle that we should be using like in terms of the rod, the line, ratings? Uh, for Jurong Lake Reservoir, there isn't much structure so you can actually use UL down here so maybe about a 4 to 10 pound rod or 6 to 12 pound rod with about 6 pound line, 4 okay. pound line, it's perfect Alright, sounds really good so yep. I'm really excited to try so shall we go? Let's go! Alright, so for Jurong Lake Reservoir, it's very simple the fishes are mostly by the sides, by the banks. So what you can try to do is just cast along the banks about one or two meters away from the banks and just slow crank your small little rubber or like a minnow and just slowly twitch it around. The fish here like a very slow presentation. So you can give that a try. So let's go! very nicely coloured peacock bass. I caught it on the Trigger X slope hopper, 2.2 inch. So I spotted the fish, I was casting along the structure there, the overhanging tree, and I saw that this fish actually followed it in. So what I did was, I kept casting at the same place, trying to get it out from the bush. Then I noticed that it was just staying at one corner. So I just cast in front and hopped the rubber right in front of its face and it committed to it. Right Jabel, that was a very short session that we have but I'm so glad that you caught a fish Yeah, it was indeed a very fun day It was a very short and fun day Okay, so I, I noticed that there in this legal area there is a, a stretch of rock bunch which you already explained to the viewers how to fish it yeah. and then there is like a one, two and three, three jetties yeah. Three jetties Okay, so fishing of jetties is definitely different yeah. from fishing from the rocks but basically, you still use uh, minnows, rubbers, rubbers yeah. exactly. Alright, so it's really interesting that in one area, you have to think out of the box 
and try different techniques because of the terrain. Alright, so uh, viewers, many thanks to Fishing Potato Jabel. Do follow him at his YouTube channel and uh, other social media. And for all of you, continue to watch this episode and you will also have a chance to win our Rapala Neck Cutter. Hi everyone, today we are at Kranji Legal Ground and with me is my colleague Shi Hong who used to fish here regularly. So uh, Shi Hong, can you uh, let me know, uh, tell us uh, what kind of fishes uh, do you normally target over here? Okay Fred, normally around here we can expect uh, pickle bass and snakeheads and sometimes even uh, the knife fish. How about the, the lures that you recommend if I'm uh, someone who never actually fished here before? Okay, over here you can try topwater lures, uh, minnows and some soft plastics. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, last question, how about the tackle that I will need to invest? You can try out a medium to medium light -like outfit here for right. if you are a beginner and start fishing here. Yeah. Okay. So let's go fishing! Hey. Hey. hey guys, so normally here in the morning, uh, when the water is calm, I'll try out top water lures first. So here we go! Other than top water lures, I can try soft plastic also. So let's give it a try. I changed to a floating minnow and this snakehead gave it a chase and took up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try um, this uh, metal bike known as uh, Ultra Blade because um, according to Shi Hong, the fish are hugging closer to the banks and this place, uh, I noticed is not very deep plus today the water is quite dirty you know, there's a layer of algae on the surface so I want to try something that is high pitch what we call high pitch which means uh, lots and lots of vibration to create a lot, a lot of commotion hopefully the fish will sense the vibration and then uh, go for the lure My first pickle bass of crunchy legal ground. Yes.
they eat the same thing. I've been very near to the banks. Okay, I think it's the uh, best, but maybe a nicer size. The challenge about this area is there's a lot of water hyacinth there and you do not know where is the line so you've got to be very careful not to fall the banks okay. Alright Just get Okay, make a jump! Nice! Second one of the day! Coming over here Yes! So I guess based on today's condition, the uh, metal pipe works very well here. This is a very small metal pipe. Uh, so it's very easy to cast, create a lot of vibration. And in this kind of condition, I think it's one of the best options. Just remember to wind it a little bit faster and uh, lift the rod tip a little bit up because this place is really shallow. Alright, Shi Hong, that was a wonderful uh, session. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. So, uh, viewers, if you were to come here, please take note that the opening hours is actually 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Today, we are fishing at the uh, Legal Ground A. There is actually one more uh, called Legal Ground B, which is across the dam over the other side. So, if you if you uh, find it is more challenging over here, you can actually go to the ground B. And I guess the fishing method is more or less is the same. Yes. Okay, Alright. So, do remember to click like, comment and share for a chance to win the prize. We will be picking up 3 uh, winners for this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoy this episode and we will see you in the next one. See you.